Hello everyone and welcome back to Banished. Um, last episode did uh, did some fun stuff here in uh, this wonderful little town of uh, Riverwood. Or uh, I mean, I I, I kind of wish I could rename the town. If it is possible to rename the town, uh, tell me, tell me, and I'll do it sometime down the line because I want to name this place Twin Buttocks or uh, the 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 butt like butts. Lake Butts might be good, or Buttocks Lake. Um, the Double Dips. I don't know. Uh, anyways. Um, we're, uh, we're actually, uh, now, we've got, we're, we've hit our upper limit, and actually, I might want to unpause the game. Uh, we've hit our upper limit for, uh, firewood, so I think I'll remove someone from the woodcutter position, and I will assign them as a fisherman. Because um, I, I'm, I haven't been happy with the fact that I've been short fisherman. Um, but uh, last time, uh, you know, we, I came out here and uh, I got this uh, woodcutter's lodge built. I've got one of four uh, potential people working in the forester's lodge. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm basically dealing with an enormous uh, shortcoming in um, just uh, the, the number of labor. Yeah, that's pretty much it. A, uh, I, I have an enormous labor shortage here in Riverwood, and uh, I think that part of it might be the fact that um, I've got too much dependence on the farm fields, and I, I, I got—I have a feeling that you guys might be right. I've overstretched myself with these two farm fields here. I think that what I might do uh, after this season is uh, come up here because you can micromanage each individual farm field right up here. I think what I'll do is reduce the number of hands to zero for this uh, bean crop field and I'll just stick with the uh, the wheat crop field because that way I can full staff this and get the full uh, yield out of this field and um, I'll balance the labor pool out a bit better but for this season I'm just kind of stuck. I'll go ahead and speed this back up to five as well. Um, there's nobody working at, uh, the Woodcutter's Lodge because, uh, just, we've, we've got so much firewood in stock, and, uh, for that matter, what I'm, what my major problem is right now is that there are no logs. In fact, the, um, the blacksmith here isn't going to get finished because we don't have enough logs, so I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the builders to zero, and I'm gonna come over here and, uh, tell someone to, tell that one little laborer to do some clean cutting of trees. Uh, hopefully they will actually cut the trees instead of uh, pick up stone, which is a long-standing uh, job that I gave people to do <laughs> over here. And um, it's not really getting done. Uh, that being said, I think, that, I think that the forest has actually started to, you know, flesh out a little bit more over here. Um, the reserve of logs is low. We haven't had any more births. Uh, Despite the fact that we have lost one laborer, uh, there are still no graves in the cemetery because I think it was Lalette or Lynette or something who uh, died and we didn't have this graveyard set up. I don't know. Can't I can't really quite remember. 75% uh, yield, 68% yield on this. Um, that's actually suspiciously low. Uh, disappointingly low, really. So, um, one laborer. Uh, we need someone back on wood cutting whenever we uh how is uh, how's the uh, the firewood is doing just fine i don't know what to say i mean things just they take time to tick away on these type of simulation games and i'm uh, our one little laborer has chosen to collect uh stone as opposed to anything else so i mean oh dearie me uh it's early summer it is currently 86 degrees out there. I don't know what um, you guys, if you're, uh, you know, some of my uh, audience that's that lives across the pond over in, you know, uh, the United Kingdom or Europe or anything like that. But uh, 86 degrees is actually pretty hot. Uh, I mean, I've, I've talked to everybody like Duncan. Oh, poor Duncan. He uh, he's had enormous problems with uh, cooling uh, and, you know, just getting a breeze in his apartment uh, this past summer in... I, I feel sorry for him because he also doesn't have central air. Uh, here in America, it's very uncommon not to have central air. So, um, but at the same time, we deal with higher temperatures, at least where I live. And um, I mean, I I'll tell you, I've learned from experience of um, just exposure that uh, don't tell British people to stop complaining because they really love to complain. Um, you know they complain about, oh my god, it's terrible, it's 86, and I'm like, dude, it's like 102 where I live, shut up, and they're like, no, you shut up, you've got AC, and I'm like, 
I'm not in it all the time, man. No, no, anyway. <laughs> I feel like I'm complaining now. Uh, nothing seems to be progressing. I mean, the, the bonus is that we, we've successfully maintained the status quo. Um, we've got four and a half stars of happiness. We've got four and a half hearts of health. Um, things are going well. And uh, the, the, the firewood storage is, is maintaining. How are we doing on food? Food is just unbelievably booming. It's under control to an unbelievable degree. Now, granted, our tools are seriously suffering right now. We definitely need, um, oh, yes, Catherine has grown up and is working as a laborer now. Hopefully, we'll be able to, um, we've got 19 logs in. We'll increase the builder, uh, the number of builders to one so we can get this smithy running. We really need the smithy functioning and working because we need, 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 need uh, more tools in so badly. We're down to two stocks of iron tools and we've got seven hide coats. We also need to build a hunter's lodge down on the south end of town here out in the forest because we need, um, we are going to need the, uh, the hides so bad. And, um, oh, look at this. Things are, uh, uh, yeah, the reserve of tools is low. The reserve, it, the reserve of tools is not just low, it is gone. Like, G-O-N-E, gone. Look at this. Now we've got problems with people not having tools. This is, uh, this is not good. So, come on, guys. I, I mean, I don't know how you're gonna do it, but you're gonna build a smithy without hammers, okay? Um, it, I mean, I don't know how you're gonna do it, but it can be done. And, uh, I think working without tools is actually bad for, um... Okay, we'll, uh, we'll increase the builders to two because we really want that smithy in place as fast as possible. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of bunch of babbies growing up very, very quickly here. And these houses are gonna start filling up very quickly as well. So we really need a supply of logs, uh, a sustainable su supply of logs in place. Um, okay, so it looks like these, uh, crop fields are done. So we'll go ahead and reduce the farmers to zero again. We'll increase the fishermen by two. Uh, we'll also increase the number of, uh, foresters by two, and we will increase the woodcutters. Uh, now the woodcutter can stay at zero for now. Uh, I'll also come in and reduce the number of, um, workers for... Well, actually, I'll reduce the number of workers to zero, and I'll shut work off for this, uh, particular crop field so I can just to double safety on it. Um, okay, so now that that is done, uh, we don't have any farmers working, um... We need a woodcutter in place, though, so we'll go ahead and come down here. Where is it? Where is it? I always lose track of where everything is on this little menu down there. Okay, so woodcutter is done. Uh, that one little laborer uh, is going to come in place and um, start forging us tools because we need tools ever so badly. Um, we have fishermen fishing without rods. Uh, they don't... The fishermen... This fisherman has no rod to clutch. Uh, Dwig has no rod to clutch all day long out at the lake as uh, he stares at that serene beauty of the twin buttocks. Right. And even the woodcutter, I I don't know how our dear uh, Carl... Carland is um, chopping wood without an axe. Oh my god. <laughs> Carolyn. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that in a moment. I'll actually... Uh, log plus iron. So, um, we need a blacksmith. We'll, we'll increase the blacksmith to one. Uh, we don't need any builders at the current moment, so I'll, I'll unpause it. Look at this. Carolyn, at the ripe age of ten, is our woodcutter. I think that's a bit old to be, uh... To be a... To, to have such a, an important job, personally. I don't know. Um... Okay, so uh, now we've uh, we've rolled over into winter. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and get on to a new building project. Here we go, a hunting cabin. So we'll go ahead and put this hunting cabin down right there, and uh, that's gonna take 34 of our logs, of which we have very very few. Um, we're gonna put one builder on the job, and uh, I'm gonna come over here, and uh, we have got to um, we have got to get this lumber issue under control, so we'll go ahead and clean cut over here again. Hoo-wee, uh... Oh, Elawoody has become an adult. Uh, Carolyn has become an adult. Carolyn, our woodcutter. Um, and Kaleri has become an adult as well, and is working as a laborer. Um, the number of iron 
tools that we can produce. We can't produce iron tools fast enough, really, because, I mean, how many... Oh, we've got one, two, three, four that I'm seeing, five, six. We've got... We need at least six different tools, and it, it's not a short process to produce these things, guys. It takes time. It takes just dedication. Each tool is a true work and craft. And li look at that. Well, Levinet has become an adult as well. I think uh, we're down on children and our houses are starting to fill up to an uncomfortable level. Yeah, some of these only have one uh, slot left in them. The reserve of tools is low, like always. Um, well, of course the reserve of tools is low. We're, we're working on it. We're working on it. I know. Um, really what it comes down to is that I want to try to get um, our supplies under control before we increase... Um, our population any more than we do right now. Uh, any more than it's at at the current moment. What is this? Uh, stored alcohol. We don't have any alcohol. No one knows what it's like to get drunk in this town. Uh, uh, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, I closed the window. Uh, what is this? The reserve of tools is low again. Oh, a child named Briano. Briano? Bri I think that's Briano. Or it's Briano. Um, I don't know. Uh, anyways, we're still, uh, we're still building this fantastic hunting cabin down here. Um, for some reason, nobody's clearing the logs out. I, I don't know. Um, how's this, uh, the stockpile is still got space in it. Maybe I should build another stockpile at the other end of the bridge. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, how are we doing on food? Food, uh, 2,500 fish, 411 beans, 519 wheat, uh, now this wouldn't this would be a bigger problem if um I didn't have um something. I can't quite remember what on earth it is that I'm thinking of. Um We're we're slowly filling it up with uh with logs. I hit the microphone there. My mistake. Oh boy. Come on guys, you can do it. Chop them trees down. Undo what Mother Nature has put so much work into uh making happen. Uh uh, our, our supply of tools is, uh, it is under control. It looks like all of our tools are completely under control now. We'll reduce the tool limit to, oh my god. Okay, you know what? We, we need the tool limit at 50 there. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, our upper limit of tools is not hit. Not at all. We've got a, a, an upper tool limit of 50. Um... Just takes a little bit for it to realize that something's happening there. Okay, so uh, we're back into early spring. I'll pause the game. And um, I'll reduce the fishermen by two. And we've got enough. We'll increase the farmers to three because I think it's clear that we don't... We're not really relying on the farm fields too much. We've got so much fish. And because I'm intentionally holding uh, growth of the community back. Um... You know what, this feels like, it feels like I haven't really played long enough. I'll, I'll, I'll keep playing for a while. Uh, maybe I'll play until, uh, summer sets in or something. Uh, this stockpile is looking so desperately full, but it's really not. Um, most of what we've got here is stone. Um, we've got so much firewood, tons of firewood. I'll go ahead and reduce the upper limit of firewood, and, uh, we'll get rid of the, uh, wood cutter. We'll, uh, we'll... Whoever this woodcutter is, it is, um... Who is this? Bell? Bell's the woodcutter. When was there a change in, um... Job placement? I don't remember ever authorizing that. Okay, so now we've got uh, two builders on the job. And, uh, the wood... The, the hunting cabin should be coming along nicely. Uh... Forester's Lodge is... Oh, that's right. The Forester's Lodge has still got three of four, uh people working on it. I, I completely forgot about that. Let's increase the... No, let's leave the foresters there. And, um... Let's increase the number of builders, because I want this hunting cabin in place. I'm, I'm desperately concerned about what's going to happen whenever we run out of hide coats. Because, um... Losing tools, that's one story. It means efficiency drops, for the most part. But losing coats, that means that people are going to die of hypothermia during the winter. I mean, ex well, not really hypothermia, but exposure. You get the idea. Um, I'm, that's something that I want to avoid. So, I mean... Uh, phew, yeah. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so all of, the, uh, all of the trees have been removed. Now it's just a matter of dragging in, like, the, the 34 logs and the 12 stone. Um... 
You know what I could do feasibly? What what I feasibly could do is tell the citizens to come down here and clear cut the forest and set this to just plants so I can manually uh, grab up the logs. Um, that might be a bad idea. I'll hold back and I'll let you guys tell me whether or not that's a good idea because um, I've done that before and I don't know if it really worked all that well. It's been weeks since I played any of my other save files on Vanish, so... Um, uh, the good thing is that uh, I keep closing that freaking menu that I really do need open. Not that one. This one right here. Uh, early spring, a child named Jevanet was born. So uh, Jevanet is uh, going to grow up with Briano or Briano, uh, however you say that. Some of these houses are really starting to hit critical mass. Uh, that's one, two, three, four of our... <laughs> Wait a minute, how do we... Six, seven. Four of our seven houses are, um, are down to a single space, so we are we're really getting cramped here, um, and, and it's starting to become awkward where the kids are still living with their parents uh, in some of these houses, I think. Well, no, not really. Not really. We're not up to the point where, like, you know, the, the, the parents are 30-something and uh, the kids are, you know, like 12 or something. Or uh, in their 20s. Uh, the upper limit for firewood is still reached. Our supply of fish is ever so high. It's at 3,000. Jeez. Um, okay, what about that Hunter's Lodge? Okay, Hunter's Lodge is done. So uh, let's come in here. We'll reduce the number of builders to zero. And we will increase the number of hunters. Hunters to three. Just straight up, we'll, we'll increase the number of hunters to three, and uh, the food limit is still at 5,000. I'm not really concerned about the food limit more than I am about the uh, the hides and stuff that can come in from these lodges. So now it's time to uh, it's time for us to build a nice little uh, tailor. So uh, I'll increase the number of builders to one, and uh, I'll come over here. Here we go, a tailor. Fritz, oh my god, it fits in just so perfect. I mean, granted, we're creating a fire hazard by building our stuff this close together, but it fits in perfect. Look at that, it's beautiful. And uh, we got 65 logs, so more than enough to uh, handle everything here. Um, hmm. Uh, we've got a lot of, uh, we've got all the tools that we need, so we'll reduce the blacksmith to zero and we'll increase the builders to two. And you know what? I, uh, I think that this is a good place to stop for today. They're clearing out those fields there, and, um, we'll see where Banish can go further forward. So, uh, go, go ahead and be certain to, you know, jump down to the comments and tell me what you want to, uh, tell me what you can about what you think I should or shouldn't be doing. Because, uh, uh, you know, as we all know, I'm certain that I'm playing this game wrong on some level for some reason, according to you guys. So, uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!